My name is uh, Kevin Baba Kachope Aboku uh, from Kichuchu. Me and him share the same motherland. He's uh, my first cousin, my brother, because I've known him since I was born. Hello, I'm called Kanyana Yvonne and I'm uh, Samantha's cousin. My name is uh, Doreen Kaitesi, uh, cousin to friend. Yes. Hello, my name is Unia, and I've known Samantha since we were in high school. We actually met in Kawaja. She was part of the Cool Kids Club, but as soon as we met, we hit it off, and the rest is history. Me and Fred met through uh, a mutual friend, Gideon Chumira, and uh, I could tell from the first time Gideon introduced me to Fred, um, our connection was immediate. I'm uh, Fred's best friend. Uh, we have been friends since uh, 1992. We went to school in Buganda Road, primary school, and uh, that's where I met Fred. Yeah, you know Samantha, uh, she's uh, my wife's cousin, actually. So, we were at my cousin's house. It was my cousin's birthday. And she came in with these guys, her friends. Fred was one of them. And he saw me and he was like, you have my wife's hair. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so this mad boy, okay. Actually, Samantha and Fred went to school together in uh, Borgias back in the day. And I think Fred has had a crush on Samantha from back in the day in senior one. One fine day, we were just, um, I was at home with Shaxel and Samantha needed to pick something up. And so she came and we chatted for a bit and then she said, come meet my friend outside in the parking so um, I went we both went to the parking lot and Fred quickly came out of the car and he was so happy to see us That's he sweet. warmly hugged us like just generally good vibes we could already tell there was something going on yeah she didn't need to spell it out <laughs> Fred started getting serious he started attending a lot of Bible classes in the evenings and he started asking me serious questions about uh, what you look for in a partner. He was asking for advice before time, and he was in the right headspace at that time. And I said, you seem ready. He said, yes, and I found the person. I, I, Samantha told me about Fred, showed me his picture. He was putting on this white gown, and the guy was looking hot. And I was like, come on, girl, let's go for it. Uh, Trish, no, she sent me a message. She's like, what are you doing? How is Zola? I'm seeing someone. <laughs> then I'm like, oh, okay, that's good. Then she told me, and I think he's the one. Oh. My favorite memorable moment is when Samantha decided to become the Rolex lady. Oh, yes? Samantha sold Rolexes in Kaboja. There we are, every break time, and there goes summer, strutting up and down, the pavements of Kaboja, selling rugs. <laughs> so, my, my very fun, memorable moment with Fred is the time when we went hiking Mountain Mavora in Kisoro. So, actually, this is a secret, Samantha. You are supposed to be proposed at the top of the hill. Mm -hmm. So when talking about the marriage, like when he gets the wife, he would actually bring him there and propose. So we are like talking about the future and, uh, you know, and I thank God it's actually happening right now. Yay! Yeah. Um, a memorable moment in Sama would be her 20-something birthday. We went to Jinja to celebrate. Um, for a weekend and we were on vibes and then I decided to jump into the river Nile and swim way past the point I was supposed to and um, Sama in her tired state jumped in to save me so that's that was a nice memorable moment. Samantha was my first sister and uh, auntie did showered her first and would shower me in the same basin with her. And uh, 
me teaching, pretending to teach her how to dance maraba, maraba. <laughs> yes, very many childhood memories. Uh, we've, uh, we've been in situations where you know, the thing about Fred is obviously he has, a, he has a way of maintaining his school when everybody else isn't. But I think I've been in situations with him whereby I have completely and also lost it. And uh, it's about to go down, but he manages to kind of uh, uh, control the situation. So he's a really good guy. He's a really good guy. Uh, up to Fred, do you remember that time I was beaten in primary school by a girl? <laughs> and I walked into your class with their teacher teaching and I reported the girl to you. That's how far back we go. The memorable moment with my brother Fred was on my wedding day when he was my best man. He was there for me through thick and thin. What I know about Fred and Samantha, they are loving, caring. When you're with them, amidst them, you feel the happiness the joy around them, they're always, the room is always jolly, it's always... Like full of joy. Full of joy and bright, the room is so bright. <laughs> and they always put God first in everything. Yeah. If I'm to go by the easiest one, when she introduced me to my husband, so that's memorable oh. for me. A uh, memorable, memorable moment, uh, definitely uh, with Samantha, is when she introduced me to my wife, Patricia. Uh, yeah, that's pretty memorable. Uh, one time we went swimming, way back those days. Uh, we used to swim, we used to go swimming at Fairway Hotel. And so um, we're just learning how to swim. So what I did, uh, one time we were standing at the edge of the pool, and I pushed her into the pool and told her, ah, you learn by force. Yeah, so really, I'm sorry and ashamed. That's one day he was running his uh, father's business much, much younger, and uh, they, he was clearing and forwarding goods at the time, I think, uh, at Malaba, the border. And I saw him driving while sweating. And I asked him, why are you sweating? He said, have you, been a, have you ever tried to balance a client and a father for a boss? And they are both asking you for solutions. But through that process, I saw somebody who was able to manage many areas of his life. And I am certain that he will be able to balance his work and also balance his family. Fred is definitely more likely to be bullied by the kids, I feel, because Sama has been at this for two years. So I think she knows how to hold on her ground. Mm, I would say the same. Fred, definitely. Fred is more likely to be bullied by the kids. Samantha. No, I think Freddy. I think that's a no-brainer. Fred. The kids will walk over him, definitely. So I'll go with Fred. I would say definitely Fred. Mm. I think Fred. I think that uh, Fred will most likely be bullied. Fred looks to be a softy so much. Fred. What? I think Fred is more likely to be bullied by the kids. Summer is really good so I would say she's better. Mm -hmm. She's really all about keen. investing every coin. She's really keen on how she makes use of her finances, investments. So Samantha for sure. So. Who is better? I wouldn't choose. <laughs> because I think they are really both good with finances. Mm. You can also say both once in a while. Samantha. <laughs> Samantha. Samantha is better with finances. <laughs> of course I have to say Fred. Fred is the best. He knows how to keep money very well. You're both pretty successful, so I'm going to say both of you are pretty good with finances. Uh, better with finances, definitely, Samantha. Well, my boy is uh, quite a big bowler. Samantha is better in regard to management of finances, but Fred knows how to implement. So, yeah, yeah Fred, you have a, a finance minister right there. 
Samantha, all the way. Super organized, like an accountant, but a cute accountant. I think Fred could win an election. If you want Samantha, he can win an election. Samantha, definitely. Samantha is a go-getter. He's charming. Fred would win an election because he's charming. I think he's a mayor in another, in another universe. Definitely a mayor. Fred Mugenga. Without a doubt. Smoothest talker I know. When we were 16-ish, Samantha convinced me to go to a party that did, she did not even show up to. <laughs> so, that convincing skill. My money is on Samantha. Uh, Fred would win the election by a landslide. Fred is a people person. Fred, you have my vote. I think Fred would. That one, I'm 100% sure about it. Samantha would win an election if the election was free and fair. Um, but Fred has the attributes because uh, Fred is more charismatic. Samantha, Samantha, yes, Samantha likes derogating. So the winning effort, she may not do it. Samantha wants to win, but she doesn't want to do the work eh? when it's election <laughs> things. So I think Fred would win. He charmed his way through Samantha's heart. So. That's true. I didn't even think of Kudos that. Kudos to That's that. True. <laughs> argument, Fred would apologize first. I'd also say Fred would apologize first. I think Samantha will never apologize first. So <laughs> <laughs> it has to be Fred. Samantha is very respectful. If, if she's in the wrong, yes, she'll say she's sorry. Yeah, Samantha will. Fred would apologize first. Fred men are supposed to be the ones to apologize first if they are wrong. Happy wife, happy life. You would have nailed it. So, apologize first. Anything to make her happy, you would have nailed it. Uh, Fred would definitely apologize first. Uh, someone will hold on to that beef. <laughs> I think uh, Fred would apologize first for the sake of peace. Fred is likely to apologize first. Most likely Fred. He likes peace. Samantha spoils Shakamo. I think Shall Fred spoils Sh Shakamo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I'll stick to Samantha. <laughs> okay, but so I think Fred is more likely to spoil Shaka just based off of like current evidence. I think Samma is more likely to spoil Shaka. I know Samantha, you love Shaka, but spoiling, spoiling, like mind, super mind, da, da, da. Freddy. Like I said, Samantha is very strict, so I think Fred spoils Shaka more. <laughs> I know it's Fred. I was, uh, was with him the other day and, Sh and Shaka called him from his judge's phone just to speak to him. I know he's, he loves that boy, I know. I know they have a beautiful connection. Summer tells me Fred just spoils a little boy. Uh, Summer, I think, is more the mommy, you know, oh, Shaka, don't touch this, don't touch that. So Fred spoils Shaka more. Uh, I'm fairly sure of that. As moms, when it comes to kids, uh, I'll give that to Samantha. Already he's like, Daddy Fred, Daddy Fred. So yeah, Daddy Fred. Uh, Fred is going to spoil Shaka more. Life, happiness, and success. Uh, you made me believe in marriage, and I guess I'm the next one to follow your footsteps because you proved to be a man among us men. They love children, they love Shaka. Um, I can't wait to see them grow with each other. I love you guys. Value her, cherish her, protect her, respect her, and uh, and all will be well. Welcome to the family, Samantha. Shaka, welcome. You are our son. God bless you all. I love you. Rumors from other people don't entertain that. So Fred and Samantha, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Sam, take all your ups and downs, have them in between the sheets, and I think you will have a very long and happy marriage. You know what I mean, girl.
<laughs> Fred, thank you for redefining happiness in Samantha's life. And hey, Samantha, this is a circuit. Jump in that Maserati, baby. <laughs> and don't look ba -ba -ba back. Love you. Cheers. Blessings below. Hi, my name is Laura Sezi. I'm Nona Sezi. And <laughs> um, hello, my name is Shaxel Tunze. Uh, I'm Samantha's sister. Oh, sorry, Samantha's cat. Can we cut this up? <laughs> Share good attributes that either of them brings to the table of marriage. Uh, attributes, uh, English is a bit strong, but uh, can you... Uh, uh, yeah. You want me to forward? No, I, like no. I want you to, to straighten your shoulders. Move them back. Straight. Like Move. this? Uh -huh. I mean, I won't be like this throughout the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> that for me was like, up there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>